Yeah, it seems uh, like a bunch of like kind of almost wind noise. It seems like. Okay, it's got to be like this. Does it? You talk into that. Yeah, but because we're sitting down below the desk. So if we so we put it this way, we're talking right into it. You know what I'm saying? Everything I've seen, it's like tilted. I don't know. I don't matter to me. I don't have a clue how that stuff works. I'm just a caveman. Are we recording? You are totally the biggest mark. And I have had the brain to do you. Hulk Hogan, you can go to hell. And all these people are a bunch of stinking bums, aren't you? The reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. All right, sports fans, welcome back once again, and we are here, and we are late to the Nitro party. We're going to be taking a look at WCW Monday Nitro. Who's from late? February Who's too done? Who's party? Fuck you, <laughs> you fucking Philistine. February 19th, 1996, from the Wikomiko, that's a real place, Wikomiko Civic Center. Please tell me it's in Japan or Hawaii. Salisbury, Maryland. <laughs> mm, hey, guys, Salisbury. guess who we just followed on Nitro party? On, the, on, Twitter, on Twitter, um, our Eric Bischoff. No, our our Scott Steiner's favorite interviewer from TNA, Jeremy Jimmy Bo- Borash. Jer- Borsch. Jeremy Borash. <laughs> Borash. <laughs> Borash. <laughs> so um, we do have a Twitter handle now. Uh, Grant, go ahead and give out our Twitter Twitter handle. Uh, we're uh, at Grant's our resident Schwatter. Jesus, Christ, I don't even fucking know how to use this thing. We're uh. Uh, <laughs> at Nitro Party Jobber, one B because it's too many characters that have two Bs. Um, there's not a fucking thing on there as of right now, but there will be? Question mark. Um, Maybe. <laughs> at, we're going to harass some pro wrestlers. I don't know. Just try to piss people off, maybe. Just basically use social media for the wrong purpose. Guerrilla advertising. Yeah. So, um,. This show had an attendance of 4,700 people, 3,800 which of which paid. Uh, it drew a rating of 3.7. Raw drew a 3.1. And Nitro wins the Monday Night War for this week. Yay! Uh, so uh, we got our Twitter handle out. Yell at us. Tweet at us. Whatever the hell that's you kids call that these days. Um, no dick pics, but we're going to get flooded with dick pics now. Yeah, we are. Uh, he, he meant that to happen. <laughs> so, so uh bring it up on the network and everybody should know what the fuck they're doing by now press play in three two one play yes dick pics this whole thing <laughs> this whole podcast is just been a cover to get dick pictures yeah it's just all been leading up to elaborate this plan yeah <clears throat> oh so how's, so, there, how's everybody doing I'm good. Awful. Um, Jesus. I'm just, I don't know. Everyone says, good. I had a gun in my mouth this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask? Uh, no, I forgot what I was going to say, so carry on. Everyone. Hey, Bischoff's doing us a little, said, welcome to the party. You damn right, Bischoff. Oh, yeah. Eric Bischoff, if you're out there, you, we really need to talk about your wardrobe from 20 years ago. <laughs> Let's see what they're wearing today. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Back, he's got a leather jacket. Mongo has his uh, Native American garb back on. Mm-hmm. Yep. You okay over there? Hiccups. Hey, there I am in the background. Yeah, right there's here. little Zach. Not really, but that's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> bowl cut having bastard. Great, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Right. Grant, you'll be happy. Hogan isn't in the main event this week. Is he so, in the show? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember Miss Savage in the tag team match. Well, I it's I misread that. It's not a tag team match. They're oh. both wrestling. Oh okay. Ultimate Warrior. What? We got any Twitter followers yet? <laughs> it's been up for a whole thirty minutes. It's been up for like four minutes. Um, what's the Nitro number on this? Because I got, oh. I got, I got notes. It should say at the bottom of the thing. 
Uh, I have no idea. 25, maybe? It's February 19th, 1996. That's all I got for you. What was the date? February 19th. Are we going to do our arbitrary timestamp thing? Yeah, the fans expect it. <laughs> it's what they want. We, we are in a minute. Stupid fucking Twitter. <laughs> No, my family's home. Yep. Zach's crying babies are back. They were out for a while. Nice and quiet around here. Mostly. So we get Double A coming out with Woman. <clears throat> Double A's going to be wrestling uh, the Golden Goose. Some guy named Terry. I don't know. Terry the some, Golden Goose. Some newcomer. Some newcomer named Terry. So Hogan's in the opener this week. I bet you he shows up in the main event, though. Guarantee it. Do you need to go see to that? Mm. No. Need, yes. <laughs> Want to, no. How are we doing over there, Grant? I'm, I'm good. What uh, what What's our time stamp? 3.13. 3.13. Ah, cat. Sorry. Three twenty-five. All right, I think we're good. We're at three thirty-five right now. All right. So, <clears throat> Maryland, uh, not a real WCW stronghold here. We're in the Northeast. <clears throat> So, Anderson is doing the my arms are caught in my jacket spot that I enjoy. That is a good one. Shitty left-handed chop from Hogan. Look at the size of that camera. So once again, Hogan breaking the rules in clear view of the referee, and nothing happens to him. I believe here shortly we're going to get a Hogan sucks chant, which is always nice. Wow, those are shitty rabbit punches. He was lightly tapping him with his yeah. fist. Grant, what are you doing over there? Uh, playing with my Twitter. There's a lot of click that doing the podcast is not the time to fuck with your with our Twitter. Pay attention. <laughs> All right, I'm watching. Okay. Yeah, hey, didn't we Fucker. just fucking see this? Yeah, like uh, a week ago. Why are they doing it? Because it's a rematch. Why? Hogan wanted another piece. Like, why? we literally just, well, in real life, we literally just watched this match. Yep. So why did sure he did. I don't, what's the explanation? Because he's he's got creative control, brother. They don't, that's not, no. I mean, it's storyline. What's the reason? He's literally choking and biting him in front of the ref. DQ him. Why doesn't Anderson demand a different, Anderson won. He gets to fucking, why does he, why is the same referee ref in this match? I, I don't know. Because he did such a great job last time just letting everything happen. And who at the State Athletic Commission keeps clearing Hogan with that busted eye? <laughs> and the, you know, four times the legal testosterone levels and <laughs> whatnot. Uh, Nandrolone ice cream. I'm pretty sure you can't have a skin color like that <laughs> and professionally, like, wrestle or box. No. Because it means you're very unhealthy. Yeah. Guys spent a lot of time in a tanning bed. My assumption is is that they all do because no one has tan lines. Well, Flair does because when Flair does the uh, ass cheek spot, well, he, <laughs> he's got tan. he tans in his trunks though. Look at Arn Anderson; he's oh, a nice even yeah. color. Yeah, nobody's got a farmer's tan yeah, no. in pro wrestling, and, and Arn Anderson should. Unless your gimmick is a farmer, right. and then yeah. you should have a farmer's tan, yeah. but you won't because What's it's WCW. For? I didn't, or is that just like a very brown stained concrete? 
Is that wood? Where, where are we at again? Wakanaka? <laughs> the Wico Miko Civic Center in Salisbury, Maryland. I wonder if it's a basketball court. Might be a basketball, like a college basketball team or yeah, something. Yeah, it is. That's wood. The Waka Waka Civic Center? Yeah. Gave somebody his shirt. Or I think he took a fan's shirt out of the crowd and used it to choke him. <laughs> hey, Hogan just did something. What? He broke the count. Oh, yeah. Good hey. job, Terry. Yeah. For understanding a little bit about wrestling. <laughs> he remembered learning that in Japan once and thought he'd try it. Yeah, Giant Baba told him that. Or Antonio <laughs> and Noki. Or the great Antonio. You ever seen that video yep. of Anoki beating yep. the shit out of the great Antonio in a match? He He's kind of like a fat guy with a beard. He fucks him and up he so bad. Refuses to sell for Anoki, and Anoki and then he gets just, stiff. And then he gets Anoki will f you up if you don't sell for him. No, Anoki, yeah. like he, this fucker is bleeding out. Yeah, oh, he like straight on, like kicks him in the face. Yeah, no, he's like curb stomping him. Yeah. Noki was a huge advocate of make it real whenever you can. Yeah. No matter what. I mean, he clatters this guy. <sighs> at what at what point do they stop using the phrase where the big boys play? We haven't heard it in a while, have we? I think we? it's they probably just said it. Uh, they just oh. said it, yeah. Well then they've said it twice my... this show. <laughs> That's why... how much I'm thinking. That's why I bring it up. I'm yeah. sure it's post July. Yeah, that's what mean. I figure. Right, yeah, right after that whole big deal happens. After they get more big boys, they don't get the big boy though from Dick Tracy. He's never, he's never on board. Speaking of Dick Tracy, that Dick Tracy toy you gave me a long time ago, I put it up there for some Sweet. reason. Sweet, <laughs> it yeah. just fit. The, the, I had some Dick Tracy action figures at one time. The, the girlfriend and I just watched oh, uh, I, Dick Tracy. Green and is that Long Shot or That's something? Shatter or Star. He was an X Force guy. Yeah. So yeah, we're uh, we're thirty one years old watching pro wrestling, talking about action figures. <laughs> what you want to fight about it? You want to fight? Oi. Yeah, no, we just we just watched Dick Tracy. It's a good movie. I have not. I need to watch that. It's been I've, a long I've time. seen it, but it's been a long time. It holds ago. up pretty that, well. Dick Tracy and Who Framed Roger Rabbit were my two like first favorite movies before Ninja Turtles. I happened. remember Who Framed Roger Rabbit scaring the yeah. shit oh, out yeah. of me when it, I was that, about six. It yeah. confused me. Like I'm like it was a really this is scary dumb. movie. It had a lot of adult innuendo that you don't get oh, as yeah. a kid though. Jessica Rabbit is oh. ye <laughs> a whore. She's hot. Oh, right. I mean, she's a cartoon. Did you see? Hot. Did you see Hogan's awful? Well, Hogan, Hogan about fell down from an Irish rip, Irish whip. Yeah, no. Oh, he missed it. Oh, deep. What? You so Hogan, Hogan just much. hulked up. You don't even have to hit him with a move anymore for him to hulk up. He can just. He can just like block a move. You just have to attempt a finisher, and he'll hulk up. Anderson, Fucking... so Anderson sold that good. That looked good. Yeah, he did. I mean, he snapped himself down there nice. A little spins. Look at Nick though. Patrick just looking confused <laughs> at all this. He's just like, what? <laughs> oh, we're going to get another shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's okay. Remember when um, Dusty Rhodes would yeah. put on the figure four and it'd be all janky? It's okay for some reason when Dusty does it, but where did Kevin Sullivan come from? Well, was we he under the ring or something? We we don't maybe because Savage cut him off. Uh. Okay, and the the ref just immediately called for the bell, and I think he's DQ and Hogan. He is because he, he didn't see Sullivan; he just saw yeah. Savage oh, running angle. Out. You know who you don't trust. So Andrew, Double A, so two they, weeks in a row, and they say picking it here, up a win. And they say it here, Anderson just beat Hogan twice. Yep. Yeah, that was nonsense fucking booking with the ref once again, because it's like, what? You let fucking all hell break loose and you don't DQ anybody, but, oh, Savage is in the ring. Yeah, when, when Dusty Rhodes puts on a janky figure four, it's like charming, yeah. kind of, yeah. because he's Dusty Rhodes. That's his, no, that's he's not, his gimmick. That's his gimmick. He's not supposed to know what he's doing, right. but Hogan, it's like, God damn it, do it right. So, one a, the ref didn't one see a. any 
No. He didn't see Sabu Sullivan. Was in the ring. So he's like, oh, you're in the ring. DQ. Yeah. Meanwhile, you can have fucking, you can just bite people and fucking hit right. people with shit. And have, fucking... have we had to explain 1-800-COLLECT yet? I don't think I don't we have. I, I don't know. The center. Is that 10 10 through 20? That's 10 10. Uh, That's David Arquette. Yeah. yeah. So explain 1 800 collect. So, so, collect so, collect calls uh, were a thing before we had cell phones. There were pay phones. And you had to pay to use them, which is where they got their fucking name. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't have money, you could pick it up and you could call collect. And you could use this collect service and you could call your mom. And they would charge jail, her usually. from jail, <laughs> and they would or charge, like. and they would charge her an exorbitant rate for you to tell her that the hot chick that um, you were with that you thought was going to fuck you stole her car and all your money, and um, you need a ride. And her, bo- and her boyfriend, her, and her boyfriend Rico, just punched you in the face and put you and in a figure you four, in, just <laughs> left you unconscious in the gutter. And now you need a ride home. Hot nineties mom, yeah. That hair sprayed hair. You know, I kind of like Loch Ness's music. Hold on a second. I'm no, start. I was just thinking that. This is supposed to be some, like, uh, like British. It's very British. Yeah. Yeah. That's his gimmick, is that like he's British. British horror movie or something. This is what all people from Great Britain look like. <laughs> well, I don't know why that's his gimmick. His gimmick should that that he's the goddamn Loch Ness monster. Should at least have some sort of a costume. About three fifty. Or goddamn or... Loch Ness monster. <laughs> I said, "What do you want from me, monster?" Oh, oh about three fifty. God damn it, monster! I said, "God damn it!" I woman. just gave you three fifty last month. All right. This match pisses me off. I saw it. I watched this ahead of time. So this is this is two weeks in a row we're, we're feeding Loch Ness basically a cruiserweight. Yeah. And Scott, last week it was Scotty Riggs. This week it's Alex Wright. Man, he is big. Yeah. Jesus. That's a huge Can you imagine him and Hogan actually wrestling? How much of a fucking stinker oh that would God. be? Because be you know when earthquake like. Earthquake can fucking move around yeah. for a guy his size. This, like... Alex Wright is just squeezing his belly. Mm, he can't even get his arms around him. No, his belly is about four feet below where he's <laughs> grabbing. <laughs> hey, he's at least getting some offense in. Oh, go behind. He should have choked him out. Sleeper hold. He should have like, locked on. He should have locked on the rear naked. He had a nice set of teeth. Yep, he's British, you know. Yeah. The big book of British <laughs> smiles. <laughs> Fans are ripping in on Jimmy Hart. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. That's the manager's job. Yeah. Get some heat while you're out there. Oh, bear hug. Oh, the no. go-to. All right. All right, so far it's legit. It's a le- it's a legitimate bear hug. Alex Wright's doing most of the work to keep himself up there, though. Yeah, he's holding on. More drop kicks. How about some more drop kicks? <laughs> so Alex Wright's kicking his ass. So far, so he's doing pretty good. So I'm led to believe that if Hogan's doing this, that it's it's what? Like well, if Hogan did it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. There's a couple different ways you could look at that. I look at it as they're doing a shitty job building this guy up. He's getting fucked up by Alex Wright. <laughs> well, he's. I mean, look at him. He's got. A, he's resting right now. Uh, oh. <laughs> what a fucking asshole! Elbow drop. That'll probably do it. So he did like two offensive maneuvers mm-hmm. and wins. And none of them he did well except for that elbow drop. Is nasty. Yeah, he, he does have a very good looking just running elbow drop. I want to see that off like the <laughs> second rope. Oof. Oh god, he'd go through the mat. I just can't fucking him dropping Scotty Riggs last week. Yeah. Just trying to do a cross body and the old yeah. catch him in that the That could have been bad. No, he and then he fucking fell over on top of it. Mm-hmm. No, he almost fucked up when Alex Wright jumped on him in the corner right there. Yeah, it was kind of... It was, he kind of struggled. Yeah. 
look at Alex Wright just bracing for that because he knows it's going to suck balls. Yep. Let me just put my arms in and yep. try to puff everything up as much as I can to keep from breaking my sternum. What's your uh, What's your time? I think I'm like a second ahead of you. We are at 17.03. Okay. Okay. Good. 17.12, just to make sure. <laughs> Everybody out there enjoying this? <laughs> Us fucking with our time stamp? I'm not doing this for them. <laughs> oh, we get a WCW Saturday Night, Saturday night preview I get with up every time I see hey, Benoit and Johnny B. Bad. Conan oh. and that is Scott Anderson. Yes. Oh, okay. Legion of Doom. I like how their graphic is orange TV static. Stick. Sting and Luke. Like we talked about earlier, or a couple weeks ago, it's the Saved by the Bell graphic. Yeah. yeah. And I guess uh, Public Enemy get a title shot for the tag I belts? guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, they fucking lost to the Nasty Boys at Super Brawl, so why wouldn't they get a title shot? Is this our second week in a row without Sting and Luger on Nitro? Yeah. Yeah, I believe it is. I mean, they may show up. They're, de- they're defending the tag belts on Saturday night. Hey, I have nothing wrong they with gotta that. got to rest up. No, they don't need to be defending them. They need to fucking lose them because they're not a real tag team. <laughs> Fit oh, Finley. Here we Finley. Go. Mustachio get, mullet Fit Finley. Get in there. This is one badass wrestler right Yeah, here. he's the fucking man. So, I, the it's, so it's half it's half Legion of Doom, half Demolition. Is his shirt. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. little bit. You got shoulder pads and studs. Yeah. <laughs> So we get the Belfast Bruiser, who would later be known as Fit Finley after he would bleach his hair. Cut it. Going a little gray there on top. Brad Armstrong has bitching music. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, he does. He is American. This is the Road Dog's brother, correct? Yeah, it'd be Road Dog's old... I don't know if it's older or younger. I think he's passed away. And he, a lot of them said when they interviewed the the Armstrong family, he was the most talented Brad in, in ring. Brad, Road I mean, Dog is Brian Armstrong, yes. right? We'll see in this match. Brad Armstrong can work his ass off. Uh, he's very. He's got talented. a good. I mean, he's got a good wrestler. He's got a. He's got a very good everything. look. I mean, he was over pretty big in like ninety two, ninety three WCW. We haven't seen him yet on Nitro. He's wrestling a lot on Saturday night and stuff. He's he's your quintessential mid card guy, but so Belfast Bruiser versus Brad Armstrong. Battle we, the Mullins. We have the evil heel versus the boy. They really do have the same haircut. The exact same haircut. <laughs> this should be a good match, though. No, it's this is a very this match is what you expect it to be. Like both these guys can really go. Channing USA. Well, yeah, didn't you see his fucking I know, jacket? Yeah, jacket with the USA on it. <laughs> that jacket's awesome. It is a sweet jacket. Shut up, Monko. What's he rambling about? I, don't I know. just tuned him out. Most nobody, of the time. nobody knows. At this point, I think um, Finley is feuding with William Regal, well, which I'm makes sense. Yeah, which makes sense because the Irish don't like the English. Exactly. True. And neither of them like the Loch Ness Monster because he's from Scotland. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Wrestling geography. We should put together a map. <laughs> yeah, each country is represented by a And wrestler. it's like, well, how many times do you have, okay, later on, Conan has the Cholo gimmick where he's Mexican. Mm-hmm. Well, Conan's actually Cuban. Um, you, you can find examples of that all the time. Yokozuna is a Samoan guy playing a Japanese guy. Um, I think I've mentioned Kofi Kingston. He's from Ghana playing a Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Like it. That's because a Ghana fucking gimmick isn't gonna fucking put asses in seats. <laughs> I don't think a Jamaican gimmick is either. Not at least not in Vince McMahon's fucked up head. Well, at least people in the fucking crowd know what that is. True. They know that their frickin' weed dealer might be half Jamaican. Right. And they, they reference that. They don't know where Ghana is. Anyhow, it'll be their gimmicks, not where they're really from. I'm not saying all Jamaicans <laughs> frickin' deal weed, okay? Some of them buy weed. 
back off me, okay? They, they're they fucking Rastas. They're into that shit. Well, they, can't, they can't all sell it. Someone has to buy. Yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, they're all see, sellers. They'd have no buyers. It's basic economics, Clay. We're fucking alienating our Jamaican drug dealer market. Hey, so. my question is, on our geography map, where do we put the ultimate warrior? Parts unknown. It's like at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean somewhere. <laughs> it's like Superman's Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> Good job by Finley. Do you see that? Uh, Armstrong kind of turned when he didn't expect him to, and he sort of took a hop good, uh, to make it time out on that shoulder yeah, block. Some good, uh, that was a good what job. What do you call that? Um, kind of improv. improv just just making it because he realized, oh, this isn't going to time out mm -hmm. well. I had to adjust. Those were signs of a good wrestling mind, a good wrestling psychologist. He's a he's a road agent with the Fed yeah, now, I believe. Yeah, he's a big backstage guy now. Him and Dean Malenko and... Yeah. Uh, Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson. There. Nice little Beal hip toss into a pinning Kidman. position. Kidman's in the Billy back. Billy Kidman, now. yeah. Nice little... You don't see a headlock takeover like that where they jump with it. That was nice. Yeah. So, unlike the Conan match that we saw... Last week, I think. Um, these guys are building this up. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's good start yeah. off slow, kind of building to something. You have it's a, a good wrestling match, not a spot fest. Right. Exactly. You have a clear baby. You know, Finley is the heel, but he's not like, he's not cheating. He's just, he's just freaking, he's just scarier. Yeah. So he's the heel. And stiffer. He's just stiffer, rougher, bigger. So he, he's the guy who's, you know, Armstrong's going to do most of the selling because the other guy's freaking rougher. Right. Well, and if he can pull heat like this, he doesn't need to cheat. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. A great wrestler can pull heat without a gimmick. Yeah, just, just with their actions and body language yeah. and all that. Working the leg. This, what's this ref's name? Oh, uh, they'll have to show him again. I didn't get a good look He's at him. He's the guy that looks like this... Jeff Foxworthy's brother. Uh, Randy... Randy Anderson? No, uh, it's a, uh, Randy Eller. He's good. You don't see too much of him in later days. No, but uh, You he's see good. a lot of, uh, Mickey J yeah. and Nick, Nick Patrick, Patrick are the two main refs. No, this guy's been yelling at, at both of them the whole time. He's been doing his count. He's been telling them to bring it back in. Sweet half crab. Love the half crab. Into a toe hold. Like a step over toe hold. See, if he locks the face, the chin, that becomes an STF. Because yep. an STF stands for step over toe hold face lock. Well, there you go. That's, that's, you learned something. Now you know. I don't know why I'm just, I'm imagining there's a, a large, an immense smell of Vidal Sassoon right now in this <laughs> Probably. Room. A lot of baby oil. It smells like a, someone just got a perm at an old lady's yeah. uh, salon. Man, you gotta keep that mullet healthy. That's, oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, nice, oh damn. Nice. They need more mats out there. Yeah. They don't have very good coverage. All right, so both of you, how do you how do you end this match? If you're the Booker, um, go for it. I finish it with Armstrong hits his finisher, but he's not sure of the ring. Finley gets a foot on the rope, uh -huh. and then Finley wins with his. Finley wins clean. Armstrong goes for his finisher. And whatever the evasive mood move is that you'd have to do to counter know, evade it. it, Finley does that, and then immediately does his finisher. That's fine too. If, I'm okay with either one of those. If this is, and I haven't really been paying attention, and obviously can't hear them, but if the crowd is into this at all, um, I I think. Oh, tilt a whirl slam. That might be it. So yeah, they just yeah. clean yeah. tilt a whirl slam. I over. I want to see a DQ in this. I want to see this match next week. I want to see Finley win by something dirty. Yeah. See, and 
Armstrong didn't really sell that move after the pinfall a whole lot. He kind of got up, scooted his way back into the corner. It's not a superpower. I mean, it's not like a fucking power bomb or something crazy. Right. That that was an incredibly solid match. Absolutely. That was textbook. That was a lot of good shit going on in there. Good flow, good pace. Yeah. Smart moves, good psychology. Clean win. So we get uh, main event time, Ric Flair versus Randy Savage for what feels like the hundredth time. Not that I'm really complaining. I mean, this is better than watching a lot of guys wrestle over and over. It's going to be a 20 minute, 20 minute er. We got yep, 20 minutes left in the show. So I might have to cut out just a little bit early. Freaking champion coming out first. Bullshit. Swing. I don't swing, like swing, that. Swing. swing. Hmm. Lizbeth, baby. Oh God. I hear rustling on you guys. Then. Yeah, and that's the upstairs commotion. Oh, there's small children running about. They can move now, so it's just yeah. Sound like an elf for stopping on my mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good Ross Perot slash all hat reference. <laughs> Flair's jawing at people in the crowd. I think woman's putting on some weight. She should go on a diet. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the reaction I was looking for. Fucking body shaming over here. So I guess your gimmick is that you're sexist. Yes. Which is basically, which is basically Ric Flair's gimmick. Right. No, him too. So, yeah, I just don't like the champ coming out first. That's always bothered me. I yeah. hate that. There's no reason for it in this match. No. I mean... Well, I'd say the Flair has, well, maybe at this point, maybe Macho, Macho Macho's in his variety. NWO gear. If he had a do-rag on, he'd be NWO Savage. Yeah. Macho Madness. Yep. Macho, he's he's kind of like the same way as Hogan. Like, he changes nothing when no, he's NWO. His character's exactly the he same. He has no difference whatsoever. Yeah, look at that big hat. It's funny. It's <laughs> yeah. a big hat. Yeah. Those things are expensive. Oh, God. It's because they're foam and not very many of them survived. Yeah, they yeah. get shredded up or they yeah. get wet or they're... Yeah. It'd be yeah. great if like someone came across a new old stock crate of those things. Yeah. One, w- once that star- that old type styrofoam gets wet, it does not dry out. It yeah. just soaks up every bit of moisture. Man, <laughs> <laughs> Flair only knew what would become become oh, of these man. women in 15 years. Flair is the only person still alive <laughs> yeah, from this match. match. Yeah. Oh, Steve Grissom signing some autographs for the kids. Yeah, Flair just needs to be lifetime champ. Just fucking leave it on him. Mm. Yeah. How much is Savage's hat, do you think? Oh, man. The ones that he wears? If it was a, you know, match-worn in, uh, Savage no, cowboy I, hat. I, I can tell you in about 1999, those old hats went for a thousand bucks. Jesus. I mean, it's so hard to, I mean, unless he had some sort of authentication. Yeah, I don't know. There's only a certain amount of that shit floating around. Anybody can say. I mean, they have a picture of them getting that. From Macho or whatever. I need a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> like on QVC. Yeah. Notice how it still We sa- got a heavily worn cowboy hat covered in studs <laughs> and feathers. <laughs> and good call play. It still says Macho. The, ni- the title belt still had the nameplate that said Macho Man on it. They mm. hadn't changed it yet. I wonder how often they do change that. Because if they know a guy's like only going to hold the belt for a week, which fucking Bischoff didn't care, it's Ted Turner's money, they probably change it every, like, oh, you're going to have a 30-second title reign, get the fucking new nameplate on there. Mm-hmm. I bet the nameplates aren't, like, made of, like, you know... Oh, they're made out of solid metal. goddamn fucking platinum. <laughs> That's the fucking title belt. That shit's fucking real, yeah. man. Have you looked at prices... Um... On Ric Flair's website, he has one of the guys that actually makes the titles for the feds. Right. They go for about five grand. Yeah. A one to one actual replica. Well, I remember for the NWA title, like Ric Flair had to put down like a twenty thousand dollar deposit yeah. Yeah. for yeah. the belt just so he didn't fucking skip to wherever right. and do that. But uh 
Yeah, Flair, you know how I was telling you, he did that contest on his podcast well, yeah, for that he, belt. Uh-huh. Now he's doing the NWA globe belt. The the square belt, kind of. The square belt with like kind of the dome yeah, in the middle. They call it the big dome or whatever. Yeah, those uh, those aren't cheap. They're probably got real fucking gold in them and shit. Oh, yeah, I mean, five grand, you got to think it does. Yeah. Well, in this one, the big gold belt, it's got so much engraving in it. Ric Flair oh, man, doesn't yeah. take a shit for less than five grand. Yeah. <laughs> So this is going to be our pretty standard Savage Flare match. We've seen it before. It's it's good enough. Oh, Jesus. That woman. Like, oh. Savage into the front row. Literally into the front row. Oh, man, you see that serial Coors, li- Nice Coors Light hat there in the crowd. Oh, Jesus Christ. And my disposable camera. That guy didn't have very many teeth. Oh, I got Savage's <laughs> sweat on me. Ow. That's everyone in there. The girl just sure. touched Savage on the butt. A little bit more of a, I don't know. I mean, this is Maryland. This isn't like the Deep South, but oh, I mean, Maryland. Sav- has... Savage is going after woman. Well, that's Yankee territory. I'm talking about Civil War. Civil Yankees, War, not, not baseball. Yankees. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> oh, God. I remember how this fucking goddamn match ends now. Yeah, because you're reading it in your notes. Fuck. I'm not going to give anything away, but we're going to talk about it. <laughs> we're going to have a deep discussion about the ending of this match. So. That was the worst I rake ever. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Not not her best. She didn't want to fucking hurt Savage and fucking cold cock her backstage if she fucking roughed him up. Woman, she wanted nothing to do with wrestling. Her, her sister on that podcast a while back was talking about she did not want to wrestle. Anytime she wrestled or got involved, she was forced to by Bischoff. She just said. wanted to be out there. And she be, was supposed to be the voice. Yeah, of just a be a valet. Didn't want to do anything physical. Yeah. Which, fuck, I can, un- yeah, I can I don't, understand. I don't want to fucking yeah. work either. <laughs> Savage's punches are some of the best. They're pretty good. Like, very good punches. Ooh. You can hear that one. Oh, that flop. (laughs) (laughs) God, he flares the man. Oh, Savage is trapped in the ropes. My cat is drinking coffee. Huh, that ought to be interesting for later. She's... Yeah, coffee makes you nervous. (laughs) Wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> yep. Oh, we get see Savage knows how to apply it properly. Yeah. Well, he probably practiced it fifty times before the match yeah, because he would never that's go true. after that. He couldn't freaking go into a match like Hogan and be like, "Oh, I'll just figure it out." No, he <laughs> got to rehearse this shit. Mm-hmm. Bullshit, fucking Hogan. <laughs> Shut up, Monko. Yeah, fuck well, it. Was, uh, was a Savage and Flair at WrestleMania 8? 8. 8, yes. Yeah, and Flair, he was talking about how uh, he wanted to wing it, you know, like he does. Oh, yeah, Savage, Savage, Savage would have wanted none to practice of it. every day the week before the yeah. match. Because, I mean, Flair, say what you will, the guy's a great worker, but he pretty much has his match. Yeah, he does, he's, he's got it down. He, he does his match. usual stuff, but Randy Savage, by all accounts, was the constant. I mean, the guy was a total pro. He wanted to leave nothing to chance. Mm-hmm. Well, and I, I think that raises a very good question. What's the greatest match of all time? Yeah, I mean, Sav- it depends. Savage Steamboat is always in the conversation. Yeah. I mean, you got two guys there that can fucking have a three-star match with a broomstick, but... We need to go back and watch, this is totally unrelated, the uh, match at WrestleMania 8 between uh, Piper and Hart. Oh, it's a great match. Yeah. It's fucking was, amazing. Uh, once again, another podcast I listened to. They were talking about it, how it was their greatest match ever, talking about greatest matches ever. And I don't really remember much about it. It told a great story. Yeah, that's what I've... That's it, basically, I, oh, it was I, Jay Lethal on JR's podcast. 
I've watched that one quite a few times, and it just tells a really good story. Because they like didn't really want to be in the match well, against each other. Even something? the even the interview with Mean Gene before the match really sets up. That's where like Piper's ragging on freaking Helen for not putting enough bologna on their sandwiches <laughs> and stuff. It's like, but he's like, oh, but it was okay, and Hart was sort of like not having it. But yeah, that's for another podcast. <laughs> Hey, Grant, did you watch uh, the first match on Greed yet? Yeah. How about that? It's better than the shit that we're seeing right now. Tell me who it is. I, mean, I can almost remember match, it but like from it, 16 years it's, ago. It's, do you remember Queedy? Queedy? Queedy. Queedy. Guy in pink, pink pants with his hair spiked up. The match isn't bad, though. That's no, the like match isn't me. bad, but just... Exactly. I thought oh. it was Lodi, too, but it's not. Oh, it's not. No, it's Lo- Queedy. Lo- Lodi was Lodi idle. Is Lodi's tag team partner? That was Lenny Lane. Yeah. Lodi was Just, idle. So, I tried watching that, and I'm like, holy crap, it's, what the fuck? The, ma- the, ma- the in-ring match was fine. Well, the gimmicks, just, are, no, the gimmicks are better than the fucking Dungeon of Doom. Yeah. yeah. Was was it Lodi and Lenny Lane that had, like, that are yeah. they gay gimmick? Yeah. They were like the West Hollywood Blondes yeah. or yeah. something or whatever that was called. Lenny and Lodi or whatever they were. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty guy. <laughs> I digress. We have a So anyway, let's show. talk about this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fucking we're all over the place. Two, two old men wrestling each other. Hey. Fucking. They're both. They're only like 42 yeah. at this point. I will I fight. Mean, I, I'll fight a 42 year old man. I don't know if I'd fight Randy Savage. <laughs> Even now. He'd fucking hurt you. And, he, and he's been dead for several years. Um, yeah, he'd fuck- no, this WCW within the next year needs to have a fucking Legends division. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And they should be. But co- they're not, but they're not going to do it. I know, but this should be co-main event. Yeah. So Flair's got him in the figure four. I wonder if he'll tap out. No, he's really close to the ropes. They can't reach him, though. Well, he will be able to when they both shimmy over there. Oh. Mongo is just... Did you Turner, see sucks. Turner sucks. Turner sucks <laughs> sign. That they're like, oh, cut away from that. Cut, re- cut, cut, cut. Cut away from that in a hurry. Not a lot of signs on the hard camera anymore. Uh, there's probably reasons behind that. Probably because they were all like, fuck you, Hogan, and They're shit all like, like, bring back Pillman and WWF rules or something like that. You can just tell Bischoff is like reading off a piece yeah. of fucking paper. Oh, backslide spot that we have to do every match. Way to fucking slow that countdown. Something just like ran <laughs> across the screen <laughs> in the back. Like quickly. Oh, wind your arm up because that works. We're about due for some interference, I would think. Yeah. We only got like six and a half minutes left in the show, so this is going to have to go home pretty quick. Something's going to happen with Arn's going to come out or... A, a boot or high heel will get involved and Hogan will come out and, and there'll be a uh, and I yeah. hope it ends in Flair going to the announce booth but I doubt it will yeah that'd be nice last couple weeks have ended like that and it's been pretty entertaining <laughs> it's a good match I mean these guys fuck, ooh spit on him that's fucking big time there Flair immediately begs off. I like what Heenan's saying. Like, it's personal. Yeah. It's a fight. It's not a wrestling match. You know, I get the point of Nitro. You have to have, I mean, it's like pay-per-view for free, basically. But at the same time, it's kind of aggravating. Like, WrestleMania 8 was 92? Yeah, it was like... Four, and this is 96, four, four years, years before, and that was exactly a, four years before. That was this. like you couldn't imagine Flair and Macho Man in on, a match on free TV. Yeah, yeah, and it was huge in '92. Now it's the main event of the yeah. Monday Night Weekly Show. For sure, I mean that's Bischoff though. He's just trying like hell to make something out of it. Mm-hmm. Well, 
Oh. Yep, here we go. Oh. Oh, there's the shoe. Oh. Savage cut it off. Fucking you. Oh, here, oh Sullivan. why? Sullivan. Because the sol- the he's just <laughs> he's just running sprints. What happened? I don't what, I have what, no idea. what the fuck is happening? No one We're knows. just running laps around. <laughs> yeah, there, there, we, there go. we go. Something happened. Good job, double A. God, he makes that, that look was good. That a perfect DB- DDT. It's because he swings his leg like, like Roberts does. So, Arn Anderson with a DDT, and Flair keeps the belt after much shenanigans. <laughs> so, Hogan's out. Sullivan's out. Hogan, of course, is going to clean house. Up, oh, get him, Flair. I want that Nitro shirt, the black one with that's just nice. the thing yeah, on the that's pretty on the, sweet on the pack there. That's the oh, uh, that's the Ring Crew shirts. Right. So, uh, yeah. so this is gonna happen. Yeah, Jesus, oh, is he the Booty Man yet, or is he still? He is now the Booty Man. Did that happen any time? Um, I'm gonna explain that okay. here later. So, uh, Ed Leslie makes the save. I'm so excited. Grant tweeted Ed Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't mind. He's actually doing well for himself yeah, in the for private him. sector. I don't. I don't mind Ed Leslie coming out here and doing this. Like that doesn't bother me. But we know the crowd has no fucking clue who he is. Well, no. The problem is, is that he can't wrestle. I mean, you think it was the warrior if you're in the crowd coming. Like out. for a second, you'd be like, yeah. "Holy shit, this is the greatest." thing I mean, ever. like he literally can't wrestle. He can't be active every week in matches. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. pointless because of his face. Yeah, because of his face. Like his, because of so, his face. Yeah. You can't. Why is he being built up? Because he's Hogan's buddy. Well, I know why it happened, but so okay. Was he not supposed to go to the back? Here's the back? here's the explanation behind the Booty Man. The there's Zodi- no explanation. They they say that the Zodiac was a spy in the Dungeon of mm-hmm. Doom planted there by Hogan. Oh, okay. So at least that. Oh, hey, here we go. <laughs> sweet. Kevin Sullivan's the fourth horseman. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, now they're getting ran off by fucking... Yeah, that's oh, the ultimate my... warrior. Yep, yeah. he's pretty well... Like, there there are kids there that actually think that that is the ultimate warrior. So we've got him... <laughs> <and Renegade. laughs> that poor dog. So brother... <laughs> so Brutus fucking over there... So they're calling out a six-man tag for next week. So, <laughs> Hogan's mic never fucking works. <laughs> he steals the belt. <laughs> Do it, Savage. Hit him. This is just fucking pandelirium. They're bonded. What? I just I just rhymed can with can. <laughs> Hold on. Hogan says something funny here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so look at fucking Ed Leslie here flexing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking Jesus! That that sound clip needs to be like I, I think and I, put into something. I think I think OSW beat us oh. to that. Booty 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 booty. Isn't yeah. that a Ying Yang Twin song? Probably. <laughs> just dub Hogan over it. People booty, just booty, people booty, just booty, 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 people just leaving in droves as all this was going on. I don't know what just happened, but it was kind of funny. So next week, Hogan, Savage, and Ed Leslie, and Eric Bischoff's the new world champ as the Booty Man versus Flair, Double A, and Taskmaster. I believe is the main event for next week. So tune in for that fucking shit show. <laughs> 
of a disaster. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that happened. So we're we're seeing a trend where nitros are ending with a shouty promo at the announcement. I like I which I is, don't mind that is one. It's fine. Yeah. It's just like total chaos at the end. I yeah, love it. I'm okay with that. Uh-huh. So um, so that's that. 